All right, this is a quick tutorial on the time save that I found not too long ago. Um, so basically, it's a time save in the combination of levels three and four. In level three, uh, the time save is right here on this screen. You can see it's at right after the gold guys. Basically, what you're going to try and do is it's, you're not going to use magic at all in this case. I'll just show it or I'll just try to demonstrate it right now. Uh, not like that. So what you do is that, yeah, you just take him back this way, get that guy to swing, and there you go. So basically, I'll replay it, or I'll kind of give you an idea of how to go about executing that pretty consistently. So, the first thing you want to do is... When you downstab, you want to give him zero time to move at all. You want to downstab and have the blade be on him immediately when he stands up or immediately when he comes out the door so he has no time to move whatsoever. That pretty much gives any, get rid of any variability in where he's standing because based on where he's standing, apparently the guy in the bottom right, the silver guy that comes out of the bottom right of the screen, he doesn't like to walk up if... Uh, Colonel Bitter, I think his name is, uh, is actually standing, uh, standing for a long time, or his hitbox is open for a long time, so you pretty much just have to hit him immediately as possible. So the first downstab you want to land is, like, on the right side of the door. Actually, it doesn't even really matter. I don't think it really matters where the first one is, but I like to do it from the right side of the door. I think that may influence how the guy on the left, the silver guy on the left, comes in and his movement so my recommendation is doing a downstab from the right door and then a downstab about here which is where Colonel Bitter will land after your first stab but you want to stab him in this direction back towards the door third downstab will be here on the left door and then the final downstab final downstab will you will have to run and you will have to run pretty much to the face of the silver guy. The smaller silver soldier that's standing there. So that he gets to swing so he stands in place. And then the other guy will chase you. The other silver guy on the left side of the screen will chase you and hit you. Or try and, uh, sorry, he'll try and dive at you. In which case you'll jump and do a downstab as soon as the guy on the right starts doing his swing animation the guy on the left should already be charging at you so then you just downstep and turn around so I'll try and show that again that was bad I think no we still got it to work no we didn't okay. the reason that didn't work I think was probably because I my downstab my very first one landed a bit too late and it caused the colonel bitter to move around a bit before I actually get my first downstab off so let's try that again. That's pretty bad. One second, I'm just gonna do this real quick. There you go. That, I would consider that pretty much what I explained. So that, in general, if you get a perfect Compared to the perfect execution of the previous magic, it saves, just that part alone, saves about two and a half to three seconds. Now the problem, or the time loss, actually happens here in this stage, because you now have magic. Normally we don't have magic going to this, so now you have magic, and you have to deal two more blows to the uh, one of the elves. Only one of them is going to have two of both of these extra pots, so... In general, I would say about landing two hits on a thief takes about one extra second, which isn't too bad. And actually, you may not even lose a second if you actually end up hitting the other elves in the process. So, yeah. Basically, my strat is probably just going to be focus on the guy who has all three of the pots and just go for him. Just keep swinging for him and hope in hopes that you hit the other elves alongside, it, alongside going for him. So, yeah. So we 
got that guy in the process, and then those two are like that, yeah. And then you collect enough just to get level 4 magic. Level 4 magic is what we're going to actually use in stage 4. So I'm going to skip through stage 4 here. And you're going to use level 4 magic. Oh damn, I think I just overwrote my save state. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. We're just going to go for level anyway. I mean, it's not anything special. I don't think I have a safe state for it, do I? Uh, maybe here? Nope. Oh, I don't... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, whatever, we'll just do it from here. Sorry, there's gonna be a bunch of crap in the middle of this video. You can probably skip ahead. own i've compared it to the timings of the best strats that we have so far for level four and it will say that on its own will save about two to three seconds so all in all you can save about f four to five seconds using both of these strats considering com or when comparing them to the best strats that we currently have for level three and four so yeah it's about a five second time save which is pretty useful that's at this uh, stage of Golden Axe. So yeah, thanks for watching.